In this episode, I share plant shopping in the Plymouth slash Cornwall area of England. Um, as you all saw, my first week was spent in Dublin, Ireland. The plant shopping there was insane. And of course, I had to do a little bit of plant shopping in England. First of all, I got to go to a big box shop. I went to a grocery store and the plants there were exceptional. I was so shocked and pleasantly surprised. And then I went into Plymouth and saw some of the boutique little plant shops they had. And there were incredible rare plants and the prices I was just drooling I mean who if I could have packed some of those bad boys in my suitcase I would have had a full suitcase of plants that I'll throw my clothes out like let me just bring the plants back anyways it was amazing I cannot wait for you guys to see it um, so I had an absolute blast visiting Dublin and England and all my family lives in the UK not all my family but most of my immediate family so it was so lovely to see them after so many years of COVID and not being able to travel it was just dream a dream come true to finally be able to get the gang back together of like 30 people or however many of us there were so I'm already planning my next trip and Every time I go to a location or traveling, I love to see what kind of plants there are and what the prices are because it totally varies depending on where you live in the world. So I'm really excited for you guys to see what they have available. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley and as you already know, probably I am definitely a crazy plant person and proud. So if that brings a smile to your face, make sure to subscribe. That way episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a really great community on Instagram if you're interested in being part part of that. Before I jump into it, a huge thank you to our friends at Catalina Crunch for partnering with me on this episode. When I say that these are literally so delicious, I'm so excited to tell you guys about them. At Catalina Crunch, they believe that no one should ever have to choose between tasty and healthy. That's why they're obsessed with creating snacks that are both delicious and low carb slash high protein. They earnestly make their snacks with protein, fiber, and clean ingredients with very little to no sugar. Their cookies, snack mixes, and cereals allow you to feel good about treating yourself every day. Now the cookies are my personal favorite, so I wanted to highlight them for you guys to share. Now they have chocolate vanilla, which you know what that looks like. Mm, so good. They have the chocolate mint. They have the peanut butter. And they also have the vanilla cream cookies. My husband was like devouring them. I was like, hold on, wait, you can't eat them all. I have to like share them with my viewers. So they're actually inspired by nostalgic childhood favorite cookies. They're delicious. The cookies are low carb, higher in protein than similar snacks, four grams protein per serving, and made with clean ingredients. Now a big one for me, the cookies are low sugar, only one gram of sugar. They are also keto friendly. Now with the cookies being lower in sugar, I always look at the ingredients to see what the sweetener is, and in these it's stevia extract, which I absolutely love. Now because they are higher in protein, they fill me up way quicker. Click the link below and use my code PLANTLIFE to get 15% off your order plus free shipping. You can also use the link to find Catalina Crunch in a store near you and to browse their snack mix and cereals. So grab your snacks, sit back, relax, enjoy some plant shopping, and uh, at the end I'll tell you what plants I wish I could have taken home with me because whew, it's amazing, amazing. I'm grocery shopping, so it's weird to be filming here. But I just wanted to point out that they have um, peace lilies, eight uh, pounds, and then they have some really beautiful calatheas in these ceramic planters. And then on the left, they have beautiful, beautiful orbifolia. Like, look at that for 10. And then they have little spider plants, six. Um, and then over here, I was noticing they have the Monstera Deliciosas. They're 10 pounds for these beautiful Monstera Deliciosas. They have um, Dracaena and Dumcane. These are 15 for these nice sized ones, so comparable to the States. Um, they have some little Anthurium, Bromeliads, the Anthurium over there are seven, and then the Bromeliads are five. Now again, this is just a grocery store chain, and they have this really nice houseplant section. I was surprised. Oh, I saw these uh, peperomia. I think it's serpents variegated. Five dollars for those. Can you believe that? Then they have some pothos. Five dollars. They have a, a blue star fern. Three dollars. 
uh, they have lilies. They're four, I keep saying dollars. You're gonna have, I'm just out of habit. Like, excuse me for doing that. Three pounds for the crotons. And then they have some begonias. There's all these cute little succulents for, for quid. And then there are some other fern. And uh, a lot of these are more like outdoor type plants. amazing this little street is it is absolutely beautiful and i found a little plant shop online so i had to come stop by they have beautiful plants out front just amazing and look i can already see some incredible house plants hi <laughs> i can already see some incredible house plants inside i mean look at this beautiful alocasia they have a spiral cactus look at this gorgeous aglionema but I just want to take a quick peek out here and to see what they have. They have, look at this really lovely succulent. It's amazing. All right, this is nine quid. They have some beautiful fern cactus. Look at that, 12.50. Some nice aloe varieties, Venus flytrap here. Some more succulents. Nice Echeveria, Echeveria, four pounds. Oh, they look, they have bear paws. <gasps> These, they're huge, three pounds. Look at those nice little fuzzy bear paws. I love how, you guys know this is one of my all-time favorite succulents. I love how the leaves are shaped like little paws and they're really fuzzy. They have some nice Apuntias here, 20 pounds. They have some holiday cactus and a Calathea, so I Oh, look, they even have string of hearts hanging here. 22 pounds for the string of uh, string of hearts there. Little pitcher plant. Anyways, this is Nook House Plants. I'm gonna go inside and check it out. This plant shop is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe the plants that they have here. I can't wait to show you guys. First up, they have these variegated Pilea peperomioides. I've never seen these before, except for maybe one time in Florida. And these are 1950, absolutely amazing. Look at these leaves, such a great plant, easy to propagate. They have some Skindapsis, nine pounds. Beautiful Anthurium clarinervium. These are 22. And there are some, I think these might be crystallinums. They're 38. Look how lovely these are. Then there are some alocasia. I'm not sure what variety this is. Maybe dragon scale or beginda or something. 22.50. Over here they have a red star aglionema. I've never seen this kind before. If I um, was able to bring it home, I'd definitely pick one of these up. They have them here for 20. And then here's another beautiful aglionema. This one's 28. They have some Hoya here. They have an Australis, it's 20. And then there's an Adansoniae and a Plumosa. Um, asparagus fern. They have some beautiful burl marks. Gorgeous. These beautiful white princess are 35. Look how healthy and lush they are. And then these stunning melanochrysums are 50, 55. I cannot believe how huge and beautiful 
these leaves are. And then we have a really nice skin dapsis. I don't know what variety this is, but look how silvery these leaves are. 28. They have these beautiful albo syngoniums here. They're so stunning, absolutely lush. And they are $29.50. Then they have some rickfrack cactus here, $7.50. Um, some beautiful jewel orchids, $16. Look at that, oh my gosh, I love it. They have these little tiny whale fins, oh my goodness, $6.50 some nice cacti, um, lipstick plants, curly lipstick plants. These little uh, string of heart are uh, 850. I mean, there's so many plants. Oh my God, I would so take this home with me if I was in the States. You just can't find them. Oh, that's amazing, how much are you? Uh, 25. Oh my gosh, I just cannot get over. It's amazing. Then we have some beautiful Birkins and some Marantas, some Peperomias, absolutely lovely. Some more cacti over here. I love this type, the Spiralis cactus. They have some Rapidophora tetrasperma, um, Begonia maculata, YDI, beautiful. So we've just driven about 10 minutes from the original shop and this place looks great. I can't wait to see what plants they have. <gasps> Ooh. So starting over here, um, they have a beautiful philodendron Brazil. I'll just name off prices as I see it. Um, they have a really beautiful Hoya here. It looks like a jade Hoya carnosa. They have a Linearis. The Hoya Linearis is 25. Then they have some string of hearts. It looks like another Hoya. I don't know what kind of Hoya this is, but um, it's 19. <clears throat> look how beautiful. I mean, look how big these leaves are on this Brazil. And they're on this beautiful moss pole. I mean, just completely lush then there's a money tree and the huge brazil is 60 looks like bird of paradise i mean this pothos is really really lovely and i love how they have like the little um, humidifier tray with the rocks there then this is some sort of allocacia. Let me take a look. Allocacia Calcutta. It's 12 pounds. Really lovely. They have a, I mean, maybe a burgundy? No, a uh, ruby, ruby rubber tree. Not sure on that one. Um, Chattiscantia up here. A Begonia maculata whitei. Some parlor palms. I mean, this shop is so cute. I love it. Looks like one of these green princess. Um, they have Monstera Deliciosa. Look, it's getting little fenestrations. You can see here on these, um, if you want them to fenestrate more, giving them more light is, is good. They have some little grow lights set up here, which is really um, great that they've done that. And let's see over here, they have Scandapsis pictus. Um, looks like an exotica of 12. And they have some alocasia. Mm, 
Sure, maybe a Masonica or Polly. Ten dollars or ten pounds, which are remember pounds. Uh, and there's these are ten for the Diffenbachia. Some really beautiful um, Marantas. The Marant, uh, I don't see the price there. Then they have, look at this white fusion. She is so lush and has just flowered. So how much the white fusion is? 25. They have some really nice uh, Adansoniae. How much is Adansonia here? Curious. 14. Some little uh, fiddles or compacta. Ficus, seven. And they have some little fiton. I haven't seen this. This is an interesting Fetonia variety. Like it has kind of like crinkled leaves. That's unique. Um, these are four, I believe. Yeah, four. Kalinkoe, another little Tratoscantia back here. This Agleonema is really pretty. I think when I go back to the States, I'm gonna try to find one like this. It's 23. Then they have Alocasia Black Velvet. And let's see price on that. But I mean, so healthy and lush. Black Velvet's one of my all-time favorites. Then they have the Begonia Maculata Wadii. It's 20. And they have some Peperomias. These are nine. Look how pretty that is. Lipstick plant. And they have a Hindu rope up here, a little Hindu rope. Let's see how much Hindu rope here is. Um, 15. I can't get over these huge pothos that they have. Some cacti, roadkill cactus, 17. They have some nice snake plants. Look at these blue, look at these blue guys. We have rickrack, something like a rick, maybe an orchid, orchid cactus. We have some more rubber trees and some more fiddly figs and uh, some more ficus. And I love the li this lipstick plant. Like I'm a big fan of lipstick plants and I like this one because of the leaf shape, has the petite leaves. Such a beautiful hanging plant, 25. We have another Hoya over here. 19, maybe some Hoya Carnosa variety, not sure. And then uh, some spider plants over here. They have um, two different types. Looks like this one has a little bit of curl on it, which is cute. And uh, Peperomia over here. This one is 12. Shiflera Parlor Palms. Look at this beautiful uh, Stromanthe. Lovely, lovely some Calathea varieties over here. Let's take a look at some more Calatheas. They have, I'm also taking a look at what plant products you can find here. Some plant food options. Um, look at this beautiful Calathea. She's loving that grow light. Mosaica. Golden. What do they call us in the States? Golden Goddess or something? Six, uh, what? Thirteen? No. Yeah, thirteen. This is a cute little Calathea. Troppy Star. A little fuzzy texture, and some more white fusion. Then we have some staghorn ferns over here. They are... Seven plumosa asparagus ferns, and then some more ferns. Looks like a little maiden hair, maybe. Ten beautiful and lush. A little ZZ. I was so blown away with the plant shops that they had. Um, first of all, I would have brought back that Melanochrysum. Holy cow, it was amazing. I think it was like 55 pounds, huge leaves. The leaves were like this big. I mean, they were bigger than my head. 
Also that white princess, <gasps> 35 pounds for that beautiful white princess. It, it even had like almost a half moon. The leaves again were this big. I mean, it just takes so long to get these plants to get large sometimes when you're growing them indoor that to me, if we can f even find those plants that are big, it's so worth getting it instead of waiting years for them to grow. Also that begonia, I can't remember the name of it, but it has those big spikes on it. That one had my heart pumping. Those aglionemas with the basically fully pink leaves. Insane. I was just in awe. They had beautiful anthuriums. Oh my gosh, how could I forget the um, Pilea peperomioides variegated? That should have been the first one I said because <gasps> it was amazing. I've only ever seen that one time before in Florida at Perfect Choice Nursery and they were incredibly insanely expensive. Duly so, there just aren't many of them. And the people there were so lovely. I just could have stayed and chatted plants all day long. I had such a great time. Like I'd like to be able to do more travel plant shopping videos because it is just fascinating to me. Get to meet cool people along the way. It was just amazing. So I hope you're enjoying this type of content. If you haven't seen my Dublin plant shopping, 10 out of 10 recommend. Dublin was insane for plants. Also keep an eye out for my next video because turns out the largest indoor rainforest in the entire world was only 30 minutes from where I was staying in England. So, and they had an amazing plant shop there. Now, if you'd like to see these episodes show up in your newsfeed, the way for that to happen is to subscribe. That way it'll show up, like I said, in your newsfeed. We also have an amazing plant community on Instagram that we'd love for you to be part of. Lastly, again, huge thank you to Catalina Crunch. I'm totally obsessed. I can finally go ahead and finish all of these boxes that I've been holding on to uh, so I could film this for you guys. Click the link below and use my code PLANTLIFE to get 15% off your order plus free shipping. You can also use the link to find Catalina Crunch in a store near you and to browse their snack mix and cereals. All right, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.